Hello and welcome to the sixth episode of NTech TV. In this show, we go out to stage and screen and speak to them about how they cater for the entertainment industry. We also show what you can do with a home audio studio and make a hit song. But first, we had such a great reaction to our story on Lincoln Park last month that we were excited to show you another aspect of their live shows, the visual production. We've got a major video element in part of all the shows and it's something fairly new and different that you really haven't seen before because of the artistic approach they've taken to it. We've got specially made high def content for the screen that we mix with lo-fi cameras for a really interesting look. I've got 15 cameras all total, three manned, two robo cams, uh, about eight lipstick cameras and a couple of thermal cams. I've got a mix of just about every resolution on the planet jammed together into one system to drive any sane engineer crazy. The lighting director runs the content back to me. He's got a content server, which I mix high def wise through my new little uh, fancy Panasonic switcher here. This is our normal arena package. Um, SDI cameras, composite cameras, and uh, the high def content mixing through to everything. This goes directly to the big Chevron screen that's upstage of the band. And uh, I do record my line cut for archive purposes. Uh, everything these guys do we like to document so that at a later time that they can take and put it together and do other things with it. All the cameras by the art direction are black and white and grainy. Looking a bit shashy because it really, it adds to the feel of the show. You know, sure. So many people do iMag now and it's all pretty and nice and perfect colors and everything else. And these guys, the music's a bit grittier Let's make the visuals match the music. This is our little thermal camera. One of them, we got a couple. The cool thing about this is it needs absolutely zero light because it only reads heat. It's not like your normal infrared cameras where things come, come out kind of green like a security camera. That's what I look like in a thing. You can, tell, you can really tell, tell how your circulation is. And it's nice for finding electrical faults in the system as well in our off time. The two, the two uh, domes are fixed up in the grid here. Uh, two handhelds in the pit, long lens in front of house, and then scattered uh, small li lipstick cameras with uh, a variety of crazy filters on them. Broken glass, We've got uh, some, uh, a variety of little tricks up my sleeve there. This is um, basically my edit system I've got going. I'm working on a piece for Joe for him to uh, evaluate what the screen looks like from just our, uh, our front of house wide shot. So, so he can, uh, as Johan is basically the band's visual director. AJ, out at front of house, has his lighting package and the content server all locked Holding together. Yeah. All locked in one so that, because he's got so much automation going out there, it makes the most sense for him to run it, send it back down the line to me, and then I, I mix everything else in, because I've got plenty of stuff to do with that. Making, making sure the content's in time all the time. So it's really a team effort in that regard. They were looking for us to analyze the building and study the building and to come back with an approach that was more of an artistic um, idea than just an illumination. So um, they wanted something that was obviously visible and would represent the building to a, a greater a macro scale and a viewpoint. Um, but they trusted us. They trusted us to come back with some ideas that they would like. Lighting for an interview situation is as easy as one, two, three. First of all, we need to establish a key light. This is a light which gives the subject definition from the front. Secondly, we use a fill light. This light gives a nice even flow over the subject and gives a softer edge to the hard shadows the key light is establishing. And thirdly, we need a backlight. This light is used to give the subject more definition from the back. 
This light is mainly used on the hair and gives a nice glow. When you use these three rules of lighting, key light, fill light and backlight on your subjects, you know you will have lit the subject properly. Welcome back. Stage and screen have been a stalwart in the entertainment industry in Australia for some time now. They cater for performers, crew and talent through booking flights, transport and accommodation. We went out to their head office at Fox Studios in Sydney and spoke to them about how they make life easy for us. Uh, we're a travel management company specifically for the entertainment industry. So we look after kind of all facets of entertainment travel ranging from publishing through to um, all types of media, um, music, theatre tours, uh, music festivals, uh, travel for journalists, so do last minute travel for news crews, a lot of outside broadcast travel for all the sporting events and concerts as well, so the whole kind of cover the whole gamut of the entertainment industry. We do a lot of music more specifically out of our Melbourne office, so we looked after uh, well, actually out of Brisbane, we've just done the, the Powderfinger tour, so their final tour. Um, we're doing the U2 tour out of Melbourne at the moment. We did uh, Pink, uh, which is really big, Cher, uh, Good Vibrations Festival as well. So there's a lot of music. Then out of our Sydney office as well, uh, lots of TV here. So uh, Seven Network, Nine Network, and a lot of OB work as well. We offer boutique services to the entertainment industry. So. Our sort of setup here is one-on-one is -on -one personal travel, you know, each client has their own dedicated travel manager with a backup travel manager as well, but you know, I guess we've grown through our sales team, you know, through referrals from existing clients and obviously sort of thanks to the backup of our parent company as well. We look after obviously accommodation, so we, we get specific um, entertainment specific rates at hotels. Uh, we get great rates with um, all the car hire companies, so specific for kind of your industries is um, we know there's a lot of demand for Turagos, 12-seaters, uh, courier vans, that kind of stuff, so our rates are you know, really competitive there. Um, visa processing, uh, excess baggage processing, uh, look after uh, carne, that sort of thing, you know. Um, so yeah, it's not, it's not just booking a flight, you know, it's, uh, we're a full service. I think it's really important to actually you know, get to know the person you're looking after. If you're, if you're working on a project or a production, you know, to know that you're dealing with the same person throughout the tour or throughout the production. Uh, and I think, you know, our experience in the industry, we, we, don't, we don't go after business that isn't entertainment related, so that's specifically what we look after. You know, we'll help negotiate, you know, hotel contracts, airfare contracts, you know, right through till after the tour is wrapped, you know, we'll, we'll still follow up with the hotels, uh, all the you know, or whatever the incidentals are with hotels, you know, right until you've actually wrapped the whole project. So, um, yeah, you know, it's the whole, it's from sort of day one to, to the finish. Jans have been designing, building and operating lighting equipment since we made our first dimmer in 1970. Since then, our products have become a standard feature of lighting rigs the world over. But we don't just offer our own lighting equipment. We've also identified the very best products available from other manufacturers around the world. Whether you're after a control console or a moving light, a dimming solution or a power distribution system, an architectural package or a conventional fixture, Jans has the product to suit your application. Jans, no one knows lighting like we do. NTEC InTech returns to the Sydney Convention and Exhibition Centre, Darling Harbour in July 2011. For the first time ever, NTEC will co-locate with SEMTI, providing one major trade event for the whole industry. See hundreds of exhibitors representing thousands of brands. Talk tech with the experts and see live how the latest equipment can work for you. The latest educational seminars, workshops and events will run alongside NTEC. Check out our website for the latest news on this world-class event on ntechintech.com. See you there. World-class manufacturers depend upon national audio systems. Australia's number one distributor of pro and commercial audio. You can achieve great things with the right products, people and professionals. National Audio Systems. Home audio studios have come a long way in the last five years. The time has gone when you needed massive audio desks, sound booths, acoustic rooms and countless amounts of equipment to record a music track. The Entech crew went out to Lenti Lenko's home studio in Melbourne and he showed us how easy it is to cut a music track. 
Hi, I'm Lindy Lenko and this is my home recording studio. As you can see, I use an Apple Mac. It's In this case, it's a 24-inch iMac. Uh, and I'm running Logic Studio 9, which is Apple software for, it's a digital audio workstation inside the computer. I've got the Pro Tools, the DigiDesign interface and that brings all the signals into the computer and out of the computer so that basically acts as like your, your junction box you could almost say this is the mic preamp and that's a joe meek twin q mic preamp and why i have that is because whilst the mic pre's in here aren't too bad for what i need to do these preamps are vastly superior and for vocals and recording acoustic guitar and things like that you get a much better quality um, signal. This is my controller keyboard, which is like, it's a Novation controller keyboard. They're very well known for that, and there's other brands too, but I can control my whole studio just from here via USB. This is uh, a Native Instruments Core 2 interface when I'm running a lot of my Native Instruments um, plugins. This is for compressors and EQs, and it's called, um, it's a Focusrite uh, unit. You're probably looking at my monitors here now wondering why I've got two sets of monitors. Well the reason is because these are my primary monitors which are KRKs which I really like the sound of and they're not the best monitors and they're not the worst but for, for me they're perfect. The monitors above uh, which are Samsung, the Samsung monitors, um, look they sound good too for what they're worth. What I like with these uh, this setup is the fact that if I can get a good sound and a good mix from both sets of monitors, I'm on my way to having a good mix. Basically, this here controls where the signals for the monitors go. That's the Mackie Big Knob. So I run the Pro Tools interface into there so I can then hear the sound or the audio coming out of the monitors. And it works a treat. I've got everything set up and it's, it's doing me quite well. I must admit, I'm extremely happy with it. I've got a few microphones. I've got a nice Rode uh, valve microphone, an NTK. This isn't it, but this is a Groove Tubes mic, which is a solid state mic or a FET mic. Uh, I've got a really nice sound, versatile for a lot of. I've used it with vocals, acoustic guitar, accordion, all different instruments. And uh, this is a reflection filter because the room's quite big. Uh, and there's a little bit of an ambience in the room, which is not ideal. Um, most of us who have home recording studios can't afford the forty or 50000 for soundproofing or sound deadening. So this $300 contraption is the second best thing for me. And I must admit, it's probably solved 80 or 90% of my problems with uh, uh, reflections of noise and whatever in the room here. Why don't we cut a track? And it's as easy as that. Gone are the days when large bulky film and video cameras are used to capture cinematic quality. Introducing the Canon EOS 5D Mark II. This fantastic piece of equipment has turned the film industry on its head. The camera consists of a 12.8 megapixel digital single lens reflex camera body and a full frame CMOS sensor with 13.3 million pixels giving full HD quality at 1920 by 1080 resolution. The sensor is a 35mm sensor and has a shutter speed of 30 seconds to 1 8000th of a second. The Canon EOS 5D has been used by industry professionals both here in Australia and overseas, including Danny Boyle's new movie, 127 Hours. With a price tag of around $3,000 for the body, the Canon EOS 5D just goes to show that great things can come in small packages. From the internet's best entertainment technology show, NTech TV, we look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.